Hello, this is Ryan Turner with VWDiesel.net and today we are going to be installing and using VADCOM VCDS for the first time. We are at the Ross Tech website, ross-tech.com and we are going to go to the download slash update. Scrolling down, I have the hex can. So we are going to choose this one. 15.7 is the current release. If you have the cheapo generic eBay adapter, you can use VCDS Lite or you can even Google around for the old version of 409.1. So we're going to click on the download. I'm going to scroll through all the stuff. It might be important for you to read this or read the instructions, but that's what the video here is for. So we're going to click download. I actually already have this downloaded. So we're going to click on the installer. Yes, we want to install it. And no, we don't want to see the instructions. Doesn't matter if you're installing it for the first time or you're updating it, it's going to ask you every single time if you want to see the instructions. So next, we want to accept the agreement because we can't do anything otherwise. Next, on this 32-bit EXE on 64 system, this may be something that you have to deal with if you have a 64-bit version of Windows. Um, it's just something you're gonna have to test. Try it without it first. If it doesn't work, then go back and try it again. Install. All right, this is going to take a few minutes for everything to install. All right, the installation has finished and now it's time for a driver installation. I'm gonna click next. Then install the driver and finish. We're going to run this first time and set everything up. So on the first run of VCDS, you can't use anything until you go into the options and test your adapter. Now, if you are using a COM version, you have the options to select the COM port that you have. Uh, you can, if you are using that version, you can find this in your system settings under uh, My Computer Device Manager. I have the USB version, so we are going to plug it in, and I'm going to turn the car on and we're going to test it out. All right, the car we are using to test on happens to be a 90, I think it's an 01 Beetle. They're all the same. So we click the test button. Okay, it sees can or K1 and K2 is okay. This is not a canned car, so the can is not ready, but that means everything is good to go. And we are going to hit save. This saves our settings, and now you can see that the rest of these buttons are now available. Uh, if you choose the select control module, this is where you can go check your individual components of the car. We'll just check the engine because that's the most common one we're going to check. It can take a second or two for this to come up. If you have an aftermarket radio, that can interfere with the communication with the ECU. Uh, so just Google something like VCDS doesn't work after market radio uh, or go to the Rostec website for guides on how to troubleshoot that and we see that this car has no fault codes um, let's go back into here if you have codes it's good to copy them and then paste them into notepad and then clear the codes afterwards um, since we don't have any we won't worry about that there are other functions in here that we'll cover on later tutorials. Go back. If you want to run a full scan, you would select the car that you have. This would be a new Beetle. And then you just simply hit the stop 
and it will go through and read all the modules in the car and give you a full report on any error codes. All right, and that concludes your basic installation and first time use of VCDS by Rostec. If you have any questions or guides that you would like to see, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below and we'll get to them for you. Thank you very much and have a good day.